Megalodon. Here we go. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. Oh. Oh, yes. Let's see this little guy get eaten up. Yum, yum. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the video. We're covering the new Jurassic World Evolution 2 Pog Manager DLC. Yes, and we have four new species to go over, as well as some decorations, but we're here mainly for the species. And I'm mainly here for one in particular, and I think the majority of people are as well. Anyway, yes, let's have a look. We'll start with the flying dinosaur, this being the Thanatos Dracon, which I thought originally was going to be as big as a Quetzalcoatlus, but it has three, like in its release animation. So I'm assuming it's not. Yes, look at you. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me get the thing working. I've been trying to brush up on my Greek lately, and uh, you know what? I think it's going pretty well. As soon as I heard we had a Thanatos Dragon, I was like, great, a dragon of death. Thanatos <laughs> Dragon. And it slowly dawned on me what I just said. <laughs> so, uh, hmm. you're, uh, you're good to look after this one, right? Hmm? I mean, I can't afford for this to end in tragedy. A Greek tragedy? No, no. Okay, no, never mind. He didn't do that. Okay, so there it is. It is actually a lot smaller. And I, what I want to do is release a Quetzalcoatlus just to see the size difference. Of course, we've got a goat in here because I, I know that from the trailer, it shares an animation with it. Oh, oh, I love its call. It's haunting just like a true something oh what's that oh did it just like spread its wings there Ooh. where's the third one? Oh, the third one's doing it as well so they do lift up their wings very interesting and there you go flying if you don't like quets and you want it a little bit smaller then this guy's probably the one for you there you go have some rocks have somewhere to sit down because i think that's what you're looking for yeah <laughs> oh finally rocks i love me some rocks okay let's Okay, let's see the size difference between these two crazy ginormous creatures. Oh yeah, that Quetzal is... Yeah, that thing's absolutely ginormous. Okay, yeah, never mind. I mean, proportion-wise, they look like they could have been similar, but maybe not. Are they going to be terrified of them? I feel... I know I would be. Fly, my pretties! Fly! Now, the only thing left to do, delete the fish feeder. Now they'll be left with no other option but to hunt down the goat. <coughs> well, that's not going for it. Oh, but the quets has stepped on him. Oh, poor bugger. Yes, you ate him. Well done. Will Jeffy get away? Oh, it looks like it's happening. It's happening. Jeffy, run. No, Jeffy, no. Oh, my God. Oh, horrible. Pick it up, throw it on the floor, and then, and then just peck it for good measure. Jesus. Well, you know what? It's quite interesting that we don't need a fish feeder for these guys. Here we go. We're going to see it again. So picks it up, throws it down. Peck! Kills it. Yes, lovely. Well done. Killers of goats. But when it comes to flyers, there is still, and I'm assuming because this guy can pick up a goat, it's going to be able to pick up a human being. Let's see what they're like with a human being. Da, 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 da. There we go. Release the penguins. Yeah. Oh, that's a really cool skin, though. <laughs> I do like that one. That looks awesome. Hold on. I need to admire the skin. The penguin skin. Yes. Oh, the mod looks great. Look at the fluff on the neck. It kind of looks like a Hatsugopteryx, or what I would imagine a Hatsugopteryx to look like. Let's see. Oh! He's, oh, oh, he tries to pick it up like the goat. Oh, it's like Billy Brown. Oh! <laughs> he just drops him. Oh, brilliant. Is there more doing it? Go on. Fly. Fly. Uh, and then... Oh, oh God. Oh, there he goes. Oh, lovely. They technically don't kill the person. Gravity does the job. They, they just get an assist. Go on then. Go on. Pick them up. Yes. He's so happy. He's like, yay, what? You can fly. Wah. Boy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Boing. So that is the Thanato Draken or whatever you want to call it on. Let's move on to the next dinosaur. Yes. The little cuties. The Microceratuses. Oh, my God. They are so small. 
but so highly detailed. Look at them. Oh, wow. I like how two decided to walk together. The rest were like, let me out, let me out. <laughs> I've seen my fair share of ceratopsids, but not many of them compare to the microceratus. Admittedly, yeah, there's a bit of a clue in the name, but I really didn't realize how small they are. With that said, they may well be cute, but that doesn't mean they're mute, because they're certainly, uh, how should I put this? Communicative little critters. They love to read Twitter and spout their controversial opinion. <laughs> oh, that looks so cool. Now, there is two specific skins you can get for this guy, like a 2022A and a 2022B. I'm assuming that's like a Dominion skin. Although, I don't know. I don't even remember that. Hey, here we go. If you look in here, there is a 2022A and a 2022B. Uh, it doesn't really show you what it looks like, but I'm assuming that that is Dominion. I don't know. I think they were in it for a little bit with the uh, the dino wrangling scene. But apart from that, well, there you go. <laughs> now, I'm not expecting these guys to really have too many animations. As you can see, they are absolutely tiny. You can't even see them in the damn grass. But they will, I'm assuming, have a really cute social animation. Oh, I think we got it. Although there is still a little bit of grass. But let's see. What do you do? Oh. Oh, sniff on the face. Oh, he's a little rubby and then they walk together. Oh, okay, that's cute. Right, now let's see them get stepped on by a Carnotaurus. Go on, Meatball. Get your din-dins. Now, this guy, if I remember correctly, would run over a Homalocephaly and literally step on it. So, I'm assuming that maybe he'll do the same with these guys. Look at that. He should have hit that. Like, whacked it, kicked it, eaten it, done something with it. It's just the way this game is like, no, no, they're fine. He's bloody asleep. Look at him. Cheeky git. <laughs> and that one. <laughs> oh, God. oh, my God. Hold on. <laughs> you see the size of it? He's so tiny. Well, seeing as they are, you know, in Dominion, we may as well release another Dominion creature just to snap the little bites up. Nom, nom, nom. Ghost looking for the rest of its pack. It's in chaos theory. You'll find them over there. Okay, the Atrociraptor's hunting down one of them. I don't know which one. Oh, God. Oh, God. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, well. At least it was over quick. All right, then. Let's see what happens. Oh, God. Oh! <laughs> Shake it about like a little toy. Mm. Oh, the sound effect of it being eaten there. Jesus. Oh, my God. He's after another one? You just ate one. Not another one. The inhumanity. Let's release the Sedgiosauruses. And there is a lot of them. This is a max release. And they kind of just look like protons? Or at least very similar. Decades of scientific innovation have made this very moment possible. Paleo curation is rarely straightforward, but is always immensely rewarding. So it gives me great pleasure to welcome the Segasaurus. Oh, Seg... Segasaurus? There's no way to say ye, if anything. Jesus. <laughs> Doesn't have the claw on, on its uh, leg like the um, the other one might. And it, it seems like one of these is going to have a social animation. I think it might be this one. This one here. We're sort of just waiting for... Oh, here we go. Is it going to be a sneaky? Oh, it was a jump scare. <laughs> like, why did you do that? Okay, so that's a social animation. Right. Let's see if they're hungry. Oh, it's going to be one of the uh, pack animations. Look at them go. Jump by the goat. Yes. Get him. Ah, just like they're comfy. Oh, my God. Did they, did they die? Oh, no. No, we're good. We're good. I have a feet. Oh, uh, they've all fallen off again. <laughs> it's just a slippy goat. Yay. They got him. <laughs> So they are probably a very similar size to the Compsognathus, it would appear. But I thought that... Oh, you gave my jump scare just after that ordeal. How could you? Oh, so they don't do what the Compi does. And that's take a bit and run away. No, these guys just jump in there. Oh, you see that? He jumped in there as well. So they same animation. They jump in onto the goat carcass, just like they do with this one as well. He's like, oh, this is a lovely stroll. And all of a sudden, ah, copy. I haven't put these as a threat. That's more like it. Flee, flee for your lives. Yes. <laughs> 
Here we go. A real Dita Stark scenario. Yes. Oh, the legs. Oh, what will you do? When the oh, he's slippy as well. Just like the goat. He all slipping and sliding. Oh, where did he go? Lord knows. Ah, down he goes. <laughs> Fell flat on their face. Oh, it's kind of cool seeing them all with the same pattern. I'm so not used. Are they killing somebody else? Oh my god! They're going for Mike! Mike! Come on, you can do it! Oh, and there's another one! Is he gonna kill any of them? Uh, I mean, if you're killed by these things at this point, when they're, when they're acting like this, I think there's something wrong with you. How will he die? How will they land the killing blow? Oh, oh my god, they contorted him. It's horrendous. The inhumanity. Oh, it's another one. Oh, no. Oh, he fell as well. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, how about we look at the final creature, the one we have all been waiting for. Okay, here we are in the lagoon. And the first thing you'll notice are these weird little green things popping out here. And that is because we have kelp. We have three different types of kelp. We're probably best doing this. Now, they all pretty much look the same. This is one set. That is another set. And that, I think, is another set. So, yeah, we're not seeing too much difference, which is a bit of a shame because it would have been cool if they put some, I don't know, something different. Maybe a different color, like a brown one and then a green one. Or at least just have maybe a flow a little bit differently. Uh, well, not individually placed. They're all a clump, but they're more spaced out the same. Yeah, who am I kidding? They're basically the same. <laughs> so, let's have a look at really the main star of the attraction. I cannot wait. The Megalodon. Here we go. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. Oh. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh my god, it's here. And it is glorious. Look at it. I bet it's fins out the surface, right? If they haven't done that, they've done something wrong. Yeah, it is. Look at it. Oh, that looks so cool. Yes. Now, given my background in the business world, I'm pretty used to dealing with sharks. But let me tell you now, it's a whole world away from the one that Megalodon's from. Because you dare get in the water with this shark? Oh, boy. You are not coming out. <laughs> Wow, that looks so cool. Ooh. I was gonna say, oh, like the way it moved there, just that silhouette. Oh, that's awesome. I don't know if I'm a fan of the pattern. This, uh, this pattern's not my favorite, I'll admit, but it's even got its own music. That like, that's so cool. It doesn't look too big though. I'm not gonna lie. In comparison to a, a Mosasaur, I feel like this might lose. And I think maybe the reason why we haven't had a Megalodon in so long. Oh, look at your precious little face. It's probably... Oh, God. It's coming right for us. Ah! <laughs> it's probably because Frontier maybe wanted to do a Megalodon. And they wanted to do it justice. However, maybe Universal... We're more of the mindset of, well, Mosasaur's still the big star, so it can't be bigger than that. So therefore, oh, oh, is the way it goes to you. That's awesome. Now, yeah, maybe they just wanted to keep, what's it called? Um, the Mosasaur is the big body. I mean, the Mosasaur in this franchise is basically a kaiju. So there's no way the Megalodon is going to do better. But let's have a look at this from the other angle. Oh, yeah, that's how you do it. That looks awesome. This one looks like a tiger shark, actually, with its patterns. Ooh, released into the ocean. Glorious. Oh, okay. What what pattern is this? This looks awesome. Do we, do we get to see it? I think it's here. So now we're in desert and Chalcorana. Oh, that one looks way cool. Right. Now, they should get hungry, and it'll be very interesting to see them eat a grey white shark. I don't know where the other one is, but we'll speed this up until they do. Let's see it! Ah! Oh, oh, I bit it in half! Nice! Ah, oh, lovely! It looks like this guy's about to go for it as well. So we'll see it from this angle, and it goes from the kelp. Wah! Bites it in half! And, oh, the way the lips retracted there! Oh, that was so cool. Like, look at this shot, man. This looks awesome. 
But like when it ate, it just when it shows its gums, that's when a shark is absolutely terrifying, man. And I don't know about you, I didn't check to see if it rolled its eyes back. That would be a good little um, Easter egg or a little attention to detail there. Because we don't know if Great, uh, sorry, Megalodon did that, but we do know that Great Whites do that. All right, let's see. Does it roll its eyes back as it attacks? No, it doesn't. Okay. But again, when it, ah, it does that bite and its jaws come out, that is so cool. Perfect. Everything. Start with something quite simple, you know, the ichthyosaur. He's so happy. He's got big eyes, a big smile. It's going to be wiped off the face of the earth in a second. <laughs> The Megalodon's hunting down the ichthyosaur. Swim, little buddy, swim! Is he gonna manage to get away? He's trying his best to keep up with him. Oh, oh, he's run out of stamina. This could be the end. I think it's gonna be the end. Here he comes. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Lovely. Oh, eaten whole. Glorious. Oh, wow. Okay, I was just about to catch this, but apparently it's already happening. Now, if that isn't the thumbnail, I don't know what is. <laughs> that is just... Oh, that is just beautiful. Let's see this little guy get eaten up. Yum! Yum, yum, yum! Oh, glorious. Okay, so it's pretty obvious that the Megalon can eat the smaller creatures, but how does it fare against something like a Tylosaurus or a Mosasaur. Release the Tylosaur and make it sharp. Ah, look at it, lovely ugly. Mmm, yes. Now I would assume, oh, oh, look at that. Is he terrified? I mean, he's swimming away. I would hazard a guess he might be panicking. It's not saying panicking, it's saying it's roaming. I don't know about you, the speed on it makes me feel like it's a little bit scared. And I would be too. I mean, look at these guys. Oh, they are just heavyweights in comparison to this sleek and agile Mosasaur. And look at that built to hunt whales. Whales! Oh, glorious. <laughs> this is so cool, man. Oh, this is glorious. I love it. Well... Who do you think's gonna win? Megalodon or Tylosaur? Let's find out. Megalodon goes in. Oh, goes for the head. Oh, did he kill it straight away? One bone crushing bite. And the Tylosaur is sent to the heavens. And let us see the untimely end of this guy. Oh, yes. Yum, yum, yum. So they can take on a Tylosaur pretty easily. How about a Mosasaur? This is where I think we'll see the Megalodon either have a fair fight or easily get rinsed. I don't know about you. I'm betting on the Mosasaur here. Oh, look at it. Glorious. Okay, the Mosasaur has just came swimming really quickly over to the Megalodon. I think they want to get this started. Let's have a look. No. No. Unless... Unless the Mosasaur's scared of the Megalodon and he's panicking. No way. No way. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> the Megalodon kills the Mosasaur! What? It's just one bite. The Mosasaur killed by the Megalodon. Whoa! Now that's gotta be because the Megalodon's, you know, it's been in here longer, it's killed more things. And this is a freshly born Moser. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. No way did they just put in the Megalodon and went, yep, yeah, that's the best. Can easily kill Mosasaur. That one soulless beady eye. Okay, it's happening again. Megalodon's coming in. Oh, straight. It just kills it. <laughs> Not even gonna hang about. Literally just been born. Instantly kills it. Well, I don't know about you guys, but it feels to me that the Megalodon Maybe the new apex. Move over, Mosasaur. It's Megalodon's turn. Oh, and then we just get to watch the Megalodon eat some tuna. Ah, lovely. So, guys, there you have it. That is all of the four new creatures showcased. We, you know, we saw some kelp and some other things. But leave in the comments down below which of these creatures you're most excited for. And until next time, 
maybe in the next video, we'll pit Mosasaurs against Megalodons and just see who really comes out on top. And until then, I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye-bye.